Alright guys, so this is the room, it's L-shaped. There's no ceiling, no trim. I removed the trim around the doors. It's kind of nice because you can see the studs. The walls are just primed. The first thing I did was I selected the walls that I wish to cover in pallet wood and I painted them a flat black. It looks shiny in the video, but that's just because it's wet. So there's some ductwork in the corner I'm gonna make look like it was supposed to be there. I'm gonna put some lights in it, cap it in real nice. I went around and I marked all the studs with blue chalk line, which was easy because you could see the studs. And then I trimmed everything out around the doors and around the floor. Then I started on the pallet wall. I 45 degree angled the outside corner, like the way that it turned out. And I really like the natural colors of the wood. I didn't do anything to make them look like this color. I capped in the ductwork and I finished the first two walls and then I started on the third. I went up to the door, that way I could match the other side and continue up the wall. So I brought the other side up to match. That way everything was pretty level above the door. I started on the bar. Don't worry about the holes in the walls. I had to add a couple outlets. You could see one down below. And then I added two up top. Later, I ended up actually putting another one below that outlet. Added an outlet for a TV. And there's just a close up of the ductwork I capped in. So I went with like a split level bar, L shaped, all in pallet wood and two by fours. Then I was able to start on the last pallet wall. And it's finished. All the pallet walls are complete. It does look like a lot of wood but these two walls are going to break that up and it's really not as bad as it looks. So my wife and I really liked the black walls that we covered in pallet wood up against the wood itself. So we decided to paint these last two walls a black satin, but on the bottom where I'm showing you is gonna be covered in Wayne's coat and I still have to go around and trim the corners, which is what I'm pointing at now. This is just the first coat of black paint. I'm gonna get some tin and cover the bottom. It's gonna look good. So I got the second coat of paint on, some trim around the top and the top of the Wayne's coat. All right guys, so I started cutting some tin and attaching tin to the bar. I really liked the way that it turned out. It was kind of hard to use as it was not brand new tin. It was used from an old barn. Uh, got the Wayne's coat up. It was pretty hard to work with as far as the corners being bent and stuff. So if I had to do it again, I'd probably buy new and just rest it myself, but I love the way that it turned out. Got the outlet covers on. I started on the electric, so it was really easy. I wired these boxes. I got the lights at Menards. I really like them, they were super easy. They're made from Juno. There's five different switchable color options that you can use. I went ahead and installed some wiring for some cameras for outside as well. 
So this run right here had a lot of cutouts, some duck work, four lights. So I'm almost finished with the ceiling in this video. I went ahead and trimmed out the closets and I touch up painted them as well. I just left them white. It wasn't without injury. I took the doors off and decided to paint them a coyote tan color. I thought that that would look really good against the black. I put three coats of paint on them. I don't enjoy painting, but I think they turned out really nice. So a lot of the walls had these little burrs on them. I just went around and kind of hit all those rough spots with sander and knocked some of that off. That way nobody would snag their clothes or get a splinter. There was also some palettes that had some blue and red and orange paint on them just from whatever they were used for. I went around and sanded all those off. There was only probably about eight spots that I had to correct. And this is the outlet that I was telling you guys I installed later, just in case I wanted to put the mini fridge on that side. So I actually had to wait for these lights on Amazon to come in. So that kind of set me back on my time frame of completing this project. But I really liked the way that the ductwork was capped in. I ended up 45 degree angling the outside and inside corners. And I think it turned out really nice. I installed some floating shelves with some pallet wood just to hold some beverages on behind the bar slash desk top. And I started putting stuff on the walls. So this black wall, I'm going to cover in turkey fans. I haven't got two of those back yet, but I have three laying on the bar top over there that you can see. So once I get those in, I will hang those up. And here's some of my deer heads you guys have seen me shoot. If you've watched my videos, I appreciate it. So now the moment a lot of you guys have been waiting on, this is the bar top. It is a live edge maple slab. Uh, one of my buddies thinks it's a soft maple. The guy I bought it from says it was a hard maple. I don't know. Leave me a comment down below what you guys think. I love the black little inlays in there. Here's a little close up of the live edge. This is the epoxy that I got. I got one gallon. Uh, it's made by Fama Wood. I got it from Menards. It's just a bar epoxy. Crystal clear. It should have a high gloss finish, so I'm excited to use that. I've never done it before. The first thing I did was I cut it to the length I want. I sanded the edges. I painted the bottom black just to fill any pinhole hairline fractures in the wood so that the epoxy wouldn't seep through. And then the bigger cracks I went around with blue painter's tape and I taped them shut. That way the epoxy wouldn't seep down. Here's some of those cracks that I was telling you about. That one's probably the biggest one. And here is the first coat of epoxy. Obviously it's not gonna look the best. The first coat is just a seal coat. It's gonna fill in any of those small cracks and things like that. But I'm gonna end up putting quite a few coats on this, sanding it, coating it, sanding it, coating it. I've never done epoxy before, but I watched a lot of videos on it. Um, you can kind of see some of the ripples and dents in there where the epoxy has soaked into the wood. So here I have sanded it and I'm ready for the second coat. This is gonna be a little thicker coat. 
I'm gonna get a close up here. That way you guys can see all the bubbles and all the, the fractures and imperfections to the wood. After I've sanded it, I've kind of taken that out and the epoxy will cover that up real nice. So this is gonna be the flood coat. This is the last coat. I skipped a couple coats in there. I've sanded it and you can really tell how this just covers all the imperfections. It's a self-leveling agent, if you will. I went around and I hit it with the heat gun. That way I can pop all the bubbles and turn it out really, really nice. Can't wait to put this on. So we got the bar top mounted, looks really good. Love the way it turned out. And this is the finished product. If you guys like what you see, hit that subscribe button. I don't do many videos of remodeling. This is just a room that I'm gonna do a lot of recording in. So be sure to hit that subscribe button and I'll catch you next time.